Well, Dave to me is like one of the coolest dudes in this music business. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's Mike Watt and then there's Dave Aaron. You know, Mike Watt and Dave Aaron are in the same league. Um, they're just uh, heavy dudes that are just into the art first and making the best art possible. They don't think about the business of it, the money, the hustle, the the vanity, the you know. And that's why, you know, I let my hair go and I don't dye it because Mike Watt and Dave Aaron don't dye. You know, yep. they, they let the truth show, you know. And, and I mean, they, you know, the, the heaviest artists in the world, Dave's work, you know, Tupac. <laughs> Let's talk about Tupac for a Good second. Lord. What was it like working with Jim Tupac, bro? <laughs> it was fun working with Tupac. I mean, I had a good time. He wasn't always nice to everybody, but he was always good with me. And uh, we just kind of hit it off right from the top, you know. And uh, I mean, the thing was that I I had worked with Prince for about two years before I started doing Death Row Records and working with Snoop and with uh, with Tupac. And you know, I mean, working with Prince, you had to be on point. You know, everything had to be just right. And you know, I did pretty good with that. You know, he always still liked me to the end. He thought I was going to move to Minneapolis and work out there, but I decided to stay. I just moved to L.A., so I wanted to uh, get the most out of it here. And I figured, you know, once I went through that era with uh, with Prince, it was pretty much I could work with anybody after that, you know. So <laughs> Right, <laughs> you know? exactly. So um, Tupac was, was pretty easy. Snoop is really easy. Snoop is like <laughs> way cool, you know. Something he's just a really, really great guy, you know. And that's why I toured with him for like twenty years, you know, when I was doing his front of house sound. And so, um, yeah, man, Tupac was fun though. I think we had a we had a good time, man. I was really surprised when all that mm. went down. But tragic, yeah. tragic, tragic. Yeah. So you got to uh, with your. Death Row Records deal, so you're around Shug, everybody, right? Yeah. Wow, yeah. what was that like? I mean, you know, I never saw Shug in a bad mood or anything, personally. You know, I'd heard stories, I'd seen that he could have been, but he was making a hundred million dollars, you know, he was he was always jovial to me. You cool. Know? Just hanging out, he signed my paychecks and stuff, but... It was all right. I know people had problems up there, but um, fortunately, I wasn't one of them. That's awesome. Yeah, so I had a good time with all that. That is just remarkable. Now, Sublime, you did work with Sublime, right? I did. What was that like? That was great. You know, um, my friend John Phillips, he had me come up there and work with Sublime because they were kind of chaotic. There was a lot going on with those guys, you know, and so I remember, you know, he would say, they're a little bit different, you know, but you're probably used to that working with death row guys. So, right. you know, um, we're going to see how that all works out. So I went down to uh, Long Beach and we were we were going to work on a session. I remember um, they said Brad was going to be a little late, but, um, you know, Bud had showed up. And when he figured that Eric wasn't going to be there right away either, he ended up leaving. He said, I'll be back. And then all of a sudden, of course, Eric shows up, you know. And then, you know, he goes, well, they're not here. I'll, I'll just leave, too. And, you know, I'll be back in a little bit. And then, you know, Brad shows up. And there was always something like that. You know? yeah. So it was hard to get a lot of stuff out of them. But it was it was a good time, you know. I put together um, some loops with Bud. And we did some mixes for, um, in fact, I put together a, a remix with Sublime and Snoop. Sweet. For uh, that doing time. Song. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, and that, I didn't that know you were on that. Yeah, that came out really good. I produced mm. that and made that beat. And yeah, it was hot. All that stuff. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. So that was a fun time. You know, I, I um, I'm excited because we're gonna be working with Jacob, his son, and when he came, when he came to the studio and I heard him sing, we did a couple songs with Jacob. And uh, we just did it acoustic. He played an acoustic guitar. Yeah. And uh, he sang, and I, and I could just hear. I mean, his voice was pure, mm -hmm. and uh, he just had a great sound to him. And I was excited about working with him at that point. Oh yeah. Yeah. And um, I think that's going to turn into something really well. 
Loving that. Yeah. Sounds yeah. promising. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this uh, Peter DeStefano killing floor. Uh, DJ Dave Dizzle. What's going on with this gig? Yeah, we got that coming up, right? Yeah. Dude, we're going to be out there Friday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. yeah. Share, Friday. share, share. More, more, more. It's just an honor to be able to uh, share a stage with, you know, Dave Aaron. And, <laughs> and the fact that, you know, I DJed most of the music he made. <laughs> you know what I mean? And jamming guitar over. <laughs> right. It's, yeah. you know, it's the only stuff that has balls enough to play so I can play like I want to play. Exactly. You know what I mean? Which is just evil. You <coughs> know, Dude. evil scales, evil mm. music. And so, not that it's evil, it's just got balls, you know? And yeah. so, um, uh, so it's That's just an honor. Like that edge to it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, got it's not just, you know, yeah, well, really candy kind of like a lot of things are. Yeah. But I, that's the part I liked about that music, too. Mm-hmm. And I love the edge to it. I think it was like the new rock and roll at that point, right? I don't know what it is, but it's just... It's another galaxy. Uh, well, it's, it's just awesome. the real deal. It is. It's like when you when you turn it on, it's like a volcano of emotion mm-hmm. and just... Mm. Not a, not like a hustle. There's no hustle in it. It's just fucking real. It's like shocking. Straight know? out. And so I just, I just, you know, to me, it's it's like a Van Gogh painting, you know? It's Van Gogh, basically. Mm-hmm. You know, but... Oh yeah, but uh, you know, from the West Side, you know, West Side, that, baby, what singing what they believe in, what they know, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, so I just I know the guitar, and so something, you know, I needed more <laughs> vocalists that oh, you know. So when I'm doing, you know, NWA and uh, and and Eminem and Tupac and and then all the dubstep and trap and you know, that's the modern, you know, balls. For me, you oh, know, yeah. it's this new music, and the kids love it. These electronic festivals, oh, yeah. you know, um, so it's just it's not e- there's not even singer singers anymore. Right. It's, it's just flat yeah, out, blah, 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 you know, like taking oh, yeah. bending sound with computers and and Ableton Live is an incredible instrument, dude. Like so. Powerful, it is. But but Dave, I want to hear more about Dave. Yeah, he's d- such. A, I'm, he's my. I'm his biggest fan. So. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> drill down through them. They, they, they Brian, dig it Brian out. ask him some questions. Yeah, mm-hmm. Brian. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about this Watt album that you have coming out. Yeah, the Mike Watt album. That's going to be a good one. We're actually, I'm going to put that out on uh, a label that I developed a few years back, and uh, I got um, everybody to sign off. And that we went down to Memphis, and we recorded, so we recorded some songs. It was a lot of it was um, kind of, impromptu a lot of it was kind of written out but we had like all-star guys go down to memphis and we picked up some players down there and um we did it at cotton row studios with Lee Co- uh, nico Lyris down there and that was a great that was a great album he wanted to do an album with just bass no, no offense, but it was, <laughs> he didn't want any guitars on it. He oh, just, no. <laughs> he just wanted horns. Cool, cool. It, you know. So he wanted to do bass and horns, and that's what we did. And we went down there and did bass and horns with, you know, and drums, and uh, you know, it, it came out really good. Cool. And it's it's a, it's something that's really different. But of course, you know, a lot of stuff Watt is on is different, mm-hmm. and. Uh, we're looking forward to putting that out. We're going to get that together really soon, and mm. I'll, well, I'll put it on the Internet when everything is all ready with that. I'm loving cool. it. Cool. That's mm-hmm. going to be exciting stuff. What mm-hmm. else is shaking? Brian, anything else you want to ask? Well, <laughs> Tell them about the gig on us. Uh, oh, yeah. Friday. Fill us in. Fill us uh, in. Well, yeah. yeah the, uh, these guys are going to be playing in Hermosa Beach at the Standing Room on Friday. That's at 1320 Hermosa Avenue. What time? Uh, I think... Uh, Pete's going to go on at 10. Dave's going to go on, I think, early because he's got to go to a NAM party later hey, hey. in the evening. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to go on early. What time's Dave going on? I think we about 9. Yeah, Beautiful. Hour set. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. How, how long's the set for Peter? How long, how long Peter wants to play for? Uh, I just, I'll just do like, what, an hour? Is that cool? And then we're doing a jam, right? And then, we'll, yeah, we should all jam after. Dude, I'm bringing guitars. It's coming. All right. Yeah. Like a, the a rockers jam. for Wildlife jam. Bam, after. I'm liking where your head's at. Let's rockers do something that supports jam, okay. the, the wildlife and, yeah, the, the human wildlife and the animal wildlife. We'll make it open mic, open instrument, open drums, mm. just whoever wants to get up and jam. Love 
Is that cool, uh, Brian? Sure. It's your I'll, gig, bro. You got to hey, let us know. Yeah, there you go. No, you're, <laughs> you're going to be up there jamming, so. Cool. All right. Brian's let us in. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to Dave because I'm just such a huge <laughs> fan. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, drill in. Um, why are you so cool, bro? <laughs> why are you so real in such a fake business? I don't know, you know. I think when I came out here, I was looking to get into some, just some really good music that was saying something and not so much just charting and everything. And, you know, luckily it ended up being big time songs and everything, you know, that they were all charting. But I think I came out here just wanting to be on some real music and everything. So I knew there was a lot of pop going on around there. I mean, in fact, I worked on some of it, you know, here and there, some Paul Abdul, some this and that, you know, but it seemed like a lot of the stuff that I was working on and I was getting in the right direction with Prince and with Pac and with Snoop and a lot of that stuff had a lot of integrity to it. And uh, I think I was just fortunate with the sublime and everything that a lot of the music that I came out here with had integrity. And I think maybe for my personality, maybe it kind of came through into the music. Oh yeah. So yeah, you know, I got I got really fortunate working with really cool people. And uh, you know, I mean, now we've hooked up and you know i've done some stuff with perry in the past i played some horns on his uh on, on one of his albums song after his song yeah the, his solo record his yeah. first solo record cool. Yeah. Mm. cool i didn't know that yeah nice. and uh so i mean you know i just try to stay all over the board with with a lot of different things we're doing um i'm doing a lot of beach bands right now i did some stuff with z11 down there he's really really good i like it. he's got a funky cool beachy feel I'm um, doing, I'm mixing a song, uh, I'm doing my second album with the Sly Diggs, who are actually on this L.A. radio. Really? Yeah, I, I don't think, we, maybe, don't you have a few shows? Yeah, we got a bunch. So, yeah, he, he was on one of the different shows. Nice. Uh, and the whole band was on there and everything. Sweet, I have so, to dig that out. Yeah. Awesome. So, I mean, they're a really good band, and uh, they played at, uh, with Hellride. Oh, night. cool. Sweet. Yeah, just the other night. Oh, you know, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah the guys that. have yeah, followed cool. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're, they're a really good band, and they yeah. got a different feel to them. And, you know, I kind of like it. It's kind of like Johnny Cash meets Quentin Tarantino. And oh, a dude. Beachy kind of feel or something. Cool you know? vibe. Like, yeah, it's, it's really good, you know. So I've just been trying to stay busy with all kinds of different music, mm. you know, not just hip-hop, but just things that I can – put those influences into yeah you know and uh it's been working out pretty good so far that's awesome you know then all inspired with a new baby boy on deck oh my god baby avi little avi is great avi yeah great name thanks avi yeah classic yeah avi asher that is sweet yeah he's a good kid Mm -hmm. really like him. he's just starting to walk now and everything so. <laughs> amazing it's times great. yeah mm -hmm. wow the discovery of life yeah his mom kaya is really really good with mm -hmm. him so um yeah man i'm lucky with that mm -hmm. and you know i was telling you i was touring with snoop for like 20 years you know wow. and it finally let up right when we had you know got pregnant and had the baby and yeah. everything and it was just something that was special and now I'm I'm going out. I'm doing like a a show with Ti every month, or you know maybe two a month or something like that. Yeah. Out in Vegas, he's got a residency out there. Sweet. But um, with Snoop lighting up, it kind of allowed me to watch the baby grow up and everything like oh, yeah. that. And like I say, you know, just working at home. I got a studio that's in Burbank, Hollywood Way Studios. Mm -hmm. and we're doing a lot of work out there, and we're about to mix a band called Free World out there. And um. You know, we just got a lot going on. Um, actually trying to lease a lot of the room. I got five rooms in there. So wow. If anybody needs a room, let me know. Well, here, how, <laughs> mu how much for the rooms? Um, Let's do some plug-in. Yeah, they go between, you know, two grand and four grand. Sweet. How big are the rooms? Room. One's a big, uh, um, and most of them are, are smaller production rooms. I'd guess, what, 10 by I don't know, 10 by 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each one like that. And then there was one that was like the big room, the main room was 20 by 20. Nice. And uh, all know, outfitted got, with gear? Yeah, I got a, I got nice SSL in there. Oh, sweet. And some speakers and 
Sweet. Yeah, Oshburgers and everything. It was pretty nice. good. Nice. So, yeah. Which SSL you got in there? I got a 6056. Mmm, yummy. 6056. Uh, love tickling those. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. One. Inspiring. Yeah. I, you know, I grew up, I mean, like when I was, when I moved out here, I started working on a bunch of them and I was just like, wow, how cool would it be to have your own? No kidding. And uh, I guess I just worked hard enough to be able to just go ahead and finally get one. I locked one down. And Absolutely. Totally, yeah, put it in there. Dude. So, I oh, had yeah. to have it. That's inspiring just walking in and seeing that thing sitting there. That makes you want to do something great. That's what I think, too. No shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I worked on an elliptical G series at early in my 20s, and gosh damn, you want to talk about just ruin you. Yeah. You walk in and go, oh, man, something great's getting ready to happen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Or confusion's getting ready to kick in, one of the two <laughs> with all the damn knobs everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is awesome. So um, 9 o'clock. That stand, uh, what's the name of the place? Standing, standing room. room. Standing room. Uh, Hermosa Beach. Hermosa Beach, man, that's going to be a blast. Yeah, it's, it's cool, you know. Um, I'm just honored that, you know, it's, it's, is it our second gig together, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, my hope is um, we can make a legacy together, you know, with Thug Loops, maybe make, make a project together, maybe make a label. Oh, yeah. Maybe I just, you know, I just want to, I made some legacy with Mike Watt. I'd like to make some with oh, Dave. Yeah. We've done it live now, you know, with with him, him DJing and me DJing, and you know, sort of like our own little little street gigs. You oh, know? Yeah. But uh, I hope for more, you know. Yeah. Well, hopefully we, I can we, be cool enough to to stay in. You uh, know. <laughs> we'll, we'll put a whole project together. That'll be